viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information. How about the Nigeria news and now the news in details? Northern held us alleged plot to incite Nigerians against one another. Northern Elders Forum, NEF, has alleged that there is an orchestrated plot by certain individuals to raise tension and cause crisis between groups and regions in the country. This is as Zamfara State Governor Belo Matawali has insisted that dialogue, not force, would end banditry and insurgency in the country. Speaking through the Director of Publicity and Advocacy, Dr. Akim Baba Ahmed, in a statement yesterday, the elders, the elders noted that the nation was facing imminent threat from persons who they allege were also lobbying the international community to create violence in the country. The forum said certain narratives and threats by some Nigerians and elected officials were raising fears and passions that could make it easy to break more laws of the land and pitch citizens against each other. The elders said in the last few weeks, the forum has led many responsible groups and individuals to appeal for restraint and respect for the law in the way we engineer developments that cause tensions or rehats to them. And now the nation is facing imminent threat from persons who are bent on pushing all of us nearer to disaster to help them achieve their nefarious goals. And there are efforts to create multiple sources of falsehood in videos and other inflammatory materials in the medium. In the media, clearly targeted at inciting people to hurt violently against each other. Allegations of planned or actual genocide are being made with reckless abandon, and even the international community is being lobbied in futile effort to sell the fictions that some groups are intent on mass exterminations of other groups. The latest communications by the Yoruba Council of Elders to the United Nations is an example of lamentable des desperation of some groups to erode our security and integrity as a country. And it is more regrettable that it is the hand and the work of, of so-called elders who should forfeit all rights to that honor. The forum advised President Muhammad Buhari and state governors to consult and explore measures that would lower tensions in the country insisting that the quite no the quit notice given to Hetman in the south in the southern part of the country was unconstitutional. The elders also advised all government to identify criminals among the Fulanis and subject them to the laws of the land. And we demand the cessation of threats and attacks by local ethnic defenders on Fulani communities. People who have been broken the law by attacking and harassing Fulani for just being Fulani must be broke to book. And we encourage all law abiding headers to stay put and seek protection, and if they cannot be protected, to relocate to safer areas in the country. We urge Northern governors to prepare to receive law abiding Fulani headers who may be compelled to relocate. We urge all Northerners to assure Nigerians from other parts of the countries that they are safe and welcome to continue to stay in the North. It is not a crime to be members of any ethnic group, and no one has the right to attempt to expel any Nigerians from places where they live lawfully, they noted. Fielding questions from newsmen in Yola, Adamawa State, shortly after opening a 347.6 km rural road, in Kuva Kaya, Honj Local Council of the State, jointly executed by the state government. The World Bank and French Development Agency, Matawali insisted that the genuine negotiations with Boko Haram and bandits would end insecurity in the country, urging other state governors to key into the idea. He described it as the best options to fight the present security challenges in Nigeria, and he added, I have always said that the best solutions and options to tackle banditry is to seek for dialogue with the bandits. If really we want to end this banditry, 
we have to sit on a road ta- on a round table and negotiate because through dialogue and reconciliations we have been able to secure the release of many people who were under captivity of kidnappers and so the best way out of out for my governor colleagues is for them to subscribe to dialogue he however explained that dialoguing does not amount to not fighting unrepentant law lawbreakers it also means it also it only means the government we use carrot and stick approach government will only sit with bandits that are willing to shed their sword government will sit with them and listen to their grievances if any but those that refuse to take the part of dialogue we will fight them because as a governor my first priority is to ensure peace and stability he had it so guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take about this? I think what uh, Governor Matawale was saying is, is, is too late already. A lot of things has happened. A lot, a lot of things has happened. You know, today we even heard that uh, the Yorubas, they killed a lot of Fulani people. You know, they burnt all their houses. You know, they even used cutlass to cut, to, to, to injure their bodies and all that. Why? The reason is that the Fulanis do, they have killed people before now. They have harmed innocent people. This is to tell you that what Governor Matawale is saying, it is already too late. The deed has been done already. And unfortunately, the president is not talking anything about it. And now Yorubas are killing the Fulanis, and then the Fulanis are retaliating back, killing the Yorubas. You know, the country is in a big mess. It is a, a big, big mess right now. We're just praying that God should take control of Nigeria, that it should not lead to any war right now. With the way things are going on, unfortunately, our leaders are not even taking any actions anymore. May God help us. This is not a good thing at all. God will take control of the country. So, guys, what do you think? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, of course, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. We all appreciate you. We say thank you to you for watching our video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And always, please, stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you, Amy. Have a lovely day. Bye.